Top A Korean dramas that are so good you'll be hooked. Signal and Goblin are hard to beat, and the last one will still be a classic in 10 years. In recent years, there have been so many great K dramas like Park Shin Hye, The Church from Hell, and Shin Hye Shun's Dear Hye Ri, as well as Kim Terry's Jiao Nian, The Star is Born, and A Virtuous Business, which have all been really popular. However, there are still many classic series that fans can forget, even years after they aired. Here are AK dramas that are so good you'll be hooked. Signal and Goblin are tough to beat, and Reply 1988 never gets old. The last one will still be a classic in 10 years. Number 1. Lee Hye Ryun Park Bo Woman Reply 1988. Reply 1988 is a collaboration between director Shin Gun Ho and writer Lee Wong Joon, who are behind the series. It stars Park Bo Gum, Ryo Jun Yo, Bo Kyung Pyo, Lee Hye Ryun, and Lee Tong Wee. The story reveals around five families living in the neighborhood of San Mundong in Seoul in 1988. The Reply series is beloved set of dramas, with Reply 1988 being the most popular among them. The story might seem ordinary, but the way it captures the characters' emotions is really known. It beautifully portrays family ties, friendships, romantic love, and neighborhood bonds, making it super engaging. Beside the touching stories, there are plenty of funny moments that bring a smile. Overall, it's a mix of laughter and tears, and many scenes resonate with viewers. That's why even long after it finished airing, Reply 1988 continues to leave a lasting impression. Number 2. Moon Chae Won and Cheung Win Jin in Another Oh Hae Young Another Oh Hae Young is directed by Song Hyun Wook, who also directed The King's Affection, and the script is written by Park Hae Young of My Mister. Staring Eric Moon, Chae Won Jin, Jeon Hui Bin, Lee Yoo Young, and Kim Si Suk, the story focuses on a woman named Oh Hae Young who struggles with sharing her name with a successful winner in life. Her life gets even more complicated when she crosses paths with Park Do Kyung, a man with the ability to foresee the future. Another Oh Hae Young was a dark horse K-drama in 2016, with a plot that swerved twists and turns. The first half is pretty intense and emotional, while the second half is light-hearted and funny, leaving you feeling really moved by the end. The entire cast delivers great performances, especially Xiao Hun Jin, who perfectly portrayed the character of Oh Hae Young. Her newest acting shot her to fame, earning her the title of the best actress at the Black Shang Arts Awards that year. Plus, another Oh Hae Young made a remarkable comeback, achieving a stunning rating of 9,991 and setting a new record for the highest viewership of TV and Monday Tuesday dramas. Number 3. Chi Huyen Gu and Jun In Nan in Queen's in Huyen's Man. Queen Huyen's Man is directed by Kim Byung Soo, who also directed his Psychometric, with a script written by Song Jae Yoon of Sun Pong Clinic and Yumi Sao's. Starring Chi Huyen Gu and Jun In Nan, the story follows Kim Bong Do, a scholar from the Joseon dynasty, who travels through a time portal to the modern day. 300 years into the future, there he meets actress Choi Hee Jin, a series of unforgettable love stories in Shu. Queen In Hoon's Man is definitely a classic when it comes to time travel romance K-dramas. The plot is light, fun, and packed with laughs, while the romantic storyline is straightforward and refreshing. The way they portray the time travel element is also really well done. Chi Hoon Woo and Yoo In Nan have amazing chemistry perfectly bringing their characters to life and drawing viewers into the sweet yet painful love story. Because of this, Queen in Hoon's Man has become a favorite time travel drama for many, and even after more than 10 years since it's aired, it still stands now as a classic that's hard to beat. Number 4. Nam Kong Min and Lee Sung Min in Mi Sang in Complete Life Mi's Mi Sang in Complete Life is adapted from the webtoon of the same name by Yoon Tae Ho, it stars Nam Kong Min, Kang So Ra, Lee Sung Min, Kang Ha Na, Bian Pyo Han, and Chin In Kyung. The story captures the world of office workers through the eyes of a new employee, depicting their struggles and survival tactics in the workplace. Its hyper-realistic narrative has even led to being held as a textbook for the working class. Mi Sang in Completely Life is a classic workplace K-drama, even dubbed the pinnacle of workplace dramas by fans. Even nearly a decade after it aired, it remains the ultimate classic in the genre, 
and everyone who has seen it highly recommends it. The show realistically portrays the various aspects of the office life and the delicately repents the different situations and personal growth faced by characters in various positions. Plus, the dialogue is packed with memorable quotes that resonate deeply with viewers, making it relatable. Back in the day, Misang in Company Life not only received outstanding reviews and viewership ratings, but also swept up awards at the 51st Park Sound Arts Awards, including Best Director, Best Actor, and Best New Actor. Number 5. Jin Hwan Shiu and Lee Do Hun Signal. Signal is directed by Kim Won Shiok, who also directed My Mister and written by Kim Won Hee, the screenwriter of Kingdom. Staring Jin Hwan Shiu, Cho Jin Wong, and Lee Do Hun, the story follows criminal psychologist Park Hye Young, who accidentally fights an old walkie talkie and connects with Lee Jae Han, a unique detective from a special investigation until 15 years ago. Together, they bridge a past and present to exchange clues and investigate a long code case that police have overlooked. Signal is held as classic suspense K drama, often referred to as the ceiling of mystery dramas. Not only is the plot thrilling and mind blending, but the constant twists keep viewers hooked. The pacing is tight and smooth, and beneath the intense, exciting storyline, it also tackles through provoking social issues. The entire cast delivers stellar performances with great chemistry in their scenes, making Signal a suspend matter speed that still resonates with fans even after more than 8 years since its airing. Recently, it was announced that a second season is in the works, which is sure to spark another wave of binge watching excitement. Number 6, Huynh Bin and Son Ye Jin's Crushing Learning on You. Crush Landing on You is a collaboration between director Lee Jung Hyo, known for um, romance as a bonus book, and writer Park Yi Un, who worked in My Love from the Stars, starring Hun Bin, Son Jie Jin, Xiao Ji He, and Kim Jung Hun. The story follows Jun Se Ri, a South Korea K pop heiress who, after a paragliding accident caused by a tornado, ends up landing from in North Korea. There, she encounters Ri Jong Hyuk, a North Korean army officer who hides, protects, and falls in love with her, creating a love story that transcends borders. Crush Landing on You was a massive hit K drama in 2019, and also the show that solidified the relationship between Hyun Bin and Son Jae Jin. The storyline is both romantic and touching, featuring plenty of heartwarming moments along with humorous scenes. The emotional depth is incredibly nuanced, and the chemistry between Hyun Bin and Chong Yadin is off the charts. Their on screen love ignite real life sparks, which contributed to the show's immense popularity. After it aired, it sparked a bean watching craze both domestically and internationally, and many fans declaring Crush Landing on You as their all time favorite K drama. And even four years later, people are still re revisiting it. Number 7. Kong Yu and Kim Goon's Goblin. Goblin is created by writer Kim Won Suk, known for Descendants of the Sun, and director Lee Ong Bok, starring Gong Chu, Lee Dong Wook, and Kim Go Un, Ju In Nan, and Lee Sung Kyung. The story follows Kim Shin, an immortal goblin who, in his quest to end his endless life, unexpectedly meets a girl named Ji Eun Ta, who claims to be Goblin's bride. Together, they end back on a romantic love story. Goblin is held as a classic romantic drama that considered a must-be. Not only is the plot exceptional, but the emotional depth is finely crafted, and the characters are vividly portrayed. The entire cast is top-notch, bringing the characters to life with great chemistry and sparking interactions. Both the main and supporting couples are lovable, and the show's pacing, visual scenes, and atmosphere are all flawless, as captivating from start to finish, creating countless unforgettable moments and memorable lines. For many fans, it remains an unmarked legendary drama, still resonating long after watching. Number 8. Yo In Sung and Gung Hyo Jin, It's OK That's Love. It's OK That's Love is a collaboration between director Kim Kyo Tae, now for Out Blues, and writer No Hee Kyung, study Jo In Sung, Kong Yu Jin, Do Kyung Soo, Sung Tong Yi, and Lee Gwang Soo. The story explores the theme of psychology through the interaction between a popular mystery novelist 
judge it all and psychiatrist Chicha Su. It portrays the life and love story of modern individuals who unknowingly carry their emotional baggage. It's okay that love revolves around issues related to mental health, delivering a captivating and emotional story that has both laughter and tears. The emotional depth is finely crafted, offering viewers an epic healing moment. The cast shines, especially the top couple, Cho In Sung and Gong Hyo Chin, whose acting and looks are both on point, creating an amazing chemistry. It's a high-quality drama that exceptional in terms of scripts, acting, visuals, soundtrack, and dialogue. Even 10 years after its airing, it's okay that love remains an irreplaceable masterpiece and a favorite K-drama for many fans.